Hello everybody and welcome to Demon's Souls the Remake on PS5. Um, I just had the game crash so I completely lost a new build I had done <laughs> that I was trying to YouTube. Um, been having a few minor issues with the uh, with the PlayStation. Um, I have learned that if you let a game from your external hard drive, a PS4 game on the external hard drive, update after installing that it will not only crash the game, but it will actually make the PlayStation shut itself off. And then you get to do um, both. The internal and external drives have to be worked on, um, recovered, and then it has no video output, so you have to reboot it and then it will send a report into Sony and it's okay. But um, anyways, you know, growing pains, the early adoption. For, I was very fortunate. I was a PS3 day one adopter, PS4 day one adopter, and uh, actually both of those consoles, I was able to ride all the way into the next gen. So, um, you know, one of the three is not too bad. I know there's some issues with some people's Xboxes as well. And those are mechanical drive issues. At least this, I have a sincere feeling whenever we get a patch pretty soon or a new software version, they'll they'll have this stuff worked out. So, just have to live with it. I've uh, gotten quite a few hours in so far of Demon Souls with a friend and by myself. And my son has been playing with me. And I uh, really haven't had many problems other than just just today. I've been having quite a few crashes with the updates and things just a second ago as well. So, But with that said, um, give you a little insight about me. I uh, used to YouTube whoa, and uh, had quite a few videos up. I, I didn't really like I was playing The Witcher, uh, among other things. Um, Souls games included lots of uh, lots of major open world RPGs with story and stuff, and I'd try not to talk over the cutscenes, and so I would stop and you know just let the cutscene play, and uh, anytime there was dialogue and stuff, I'd let them talk. But uh, I found myself, and I have to hand it to any YouTubers out there, I found myself very unable to put a coherent thought out there and talk while playing. My my gameplay would get to trash. <laughs> And so what I would do is I would get hyper focused on the game and I would just like flat out stop talking for extended periods of time. And so uh, with that said, I had like 250 Witcher 3 videos alone and I ended up um, deleting them. I did not realize that I had changed weapons. I ended up deleting um, a lot of the stuff that I had up on my channel just because I, I didn't like the uh, oh. Really? Try it again without the delay. Thank you. But, um... So I deleted a whole bunch of stuff, and then, in one summer, I actually lost my voice completely for 10 months and enough so that I didn't feel comfortable making videos for like four years and so uh, I just about got back to where I can talk without issue for, for hours on end and my throat not hurt and my voice not eventually gonna disappear and uh, so uh, here I am I'm back with the new generation hopefully um, I uh, stay fortunate enough to to be able to this dude is he's just like that's awesome. I never realized he's just working on his crossbow. He's kind of checking it, making sure everything's right. And uh, then we go in here and kill him. But, um... Let's go ahead and heal up. Um, hopefully I don't die to the opening boss so I can get a few uh, souls and some upgrade materials. Kind of get a jump start on my character as soon as we get into the first zone. We, uh, by the way, since I haven't even got there yet, um, I'm a Souls veteran, uh, not by any means think that I'm amazing at it, but uh, I've played, beaten everything from Soft has put out since, from Demon Souls on, other than Sekiro, I'm like 85% done with it probably, and um,
What? I need to stay on his tail. Oh, he can turn that fast? Really? I'm gonna not talk right now so that way I don't die. Hopefully. Hopefully don't die. Let me rephrase that. We're gonna do that again here in a second. Yikes! I don't wanna get that far over on his tail. Or on his side. There we go. Ugh. I think we're gonna make it. But, um, oh yeah, I never said. Thank you. But, uh, holy cow, the headset is extremely loud. Uh, that I wish to do, we're gonna kind of do a real easy, cheap playthrough. Uh, I noticed that I started with the uh, Falchion, and as soon as we get out of the World 1 1, we're going to be uh, going and farming the Crescent Falchion. Oh, that's down here. And then we're going to build up our magic by uh, we're going to do that boss right there to be able to get a couple of upgrades on the Crescent Falchion and make it higher higher level and then the vast majority of the game will be a breeze and um, that's okay we're this is going to be a simple little playthrough that'll give me a little bit of freedom to be able to talk <laughs> and and not just focus on not dying so much maybe i can be a little more entertaining helps if you actually stand on the item instead of four feet in front of it so see we're going to get uh, Three renowned warrior souls, some upgrade materials, and uh, it's just going to help us out a ton. Let's skip this. Let's skip this. And there we go. All right. We've captured demon souls. We're going to talk to this little feller. Wow, We're going to skip talking to him. Thank you very much. Your souls... Okay, we're going to repair. No, we're not going to repair it because we're going to level it up, I think. I'm trying to decide if we should level the dagger up or wait until... Because the... Um, for, like, getting lizards and stuff like that. Until we get magic. Oh, you know what? We can get magic before... Um, you get the uh, mail breaker in the first zone. And... Um, Let's see here, that's sharp stone and that sharp stone. So yeah, we're gonna wait on that. So we'll just repair. Alright. I will. Don't worry about it. I'm in this mile, but I would be okay, happy. talk to you. There we go. Organize. Oh, let's organize. We're not gonna use the weapons. That we're not gonna use either one of those, but um We're actually not going to use anything that's a pre-order bonus or anything like that. Oh my gosh, let's not do that. Where is the shit? Oh, we can't level up yet. Alright, well. Here goes nothing. Let's start the first zone. I'm hoping we're gonna we're gonna actually kind of burn through the first zone pretty quickly. Because other than the mail breaker and, and a few other things, there's really nothing here that we desperately need. I need to get that first boss fight so I can go do more pertinent things. So let's see if we can speed demon this a little bit. There we go. Yay, a shield. Just what I always wanted was a crap shield. 
I love that if you hit them in a jumping attack, they take more damage and therefore they die in one hit. Hey, we need pine resin. That'll be lovely for the boss. Of course, there's some right before you get to the boss, so it's really not a big deal. But, you know, whatever. Oh, I thought he was going to fall off there for a second. Whole bunch of stuff we really don't need. But, I mean, I'll take it. Bye. Any items in here? No, I don't really ever look in this room very well. Ow. No, I don't want to use a freaking full man grass. <laughs> Oh well, we won't be using any of them again for a while, so it's not a huge deal. And so many warrior souls and stuff, so we'll be able to level up a fair amount right after the first boss. There's the nail breaker, and yeah, I know it's a little bit cheap, but you know, um, again, you can severely break this game way more than what I'm going to do, so I don't in any way feel bad. I do feel bad about eating two firebombs to the face already in this playthrough, though. Those were both pretty pathetic. So far, so somewhat good. I'll go ahead and heal up until I get. I don't like having half health. And it's something else we will also definitely do on this playthrough. We will um, we'll be staying not human as much as feasible, just to not have to deal with. We're not going to get the bastard sword. That's what drops down out there because we're not going to be doing heavy weapons. Ah! I thought I was going to be able to get a dodge out of it in town. Did not happen. That was nice. We'll backstab you. Instead. Man, that dude's shooting from forever away. Alright, I want my, uh, I want my ring. Oh, speaking of, okay, it's on. Good deal. That was smart. Goodbye. Hey, another mail breaker. And another pawn resin space. There we go. Do I not have any firebombs? Or was I just full before I picked some up? Oh, I got a ton of firebombs. Okay. That makes me feel a little warm and fuzzy inside. Pretty much permanent cling ring. All right. 
There we go. I don't know how I managed to do that without falling, but I'll take it. trying to think should we save Estrava or should we just kill him and get it over with I think we'll save him because I am not in any way ready to face Doran you come from scimitar yay is he not gonna fight this guy there we go I wish you can get off the stairs thank you backstab time goodbye oh, close enough go and here's pretty much one of the last places we'll be really using a bunch of firebombs oh you're an enemy we're an enemy Stones, heck yeah. Let's drop a bro. Wow, I've already got twenty eight. Awesome. And so, so many souls. That's wonderful. from the vendor, so we're not even going to bother going down there. Let's just go this way. I don't think we're going to make it to uh, the boss in under 30 minutes, but we'll, uh, we'll be close. Wow! Super late. I mean, early. Okay, just kidding. Try this again. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. There we go. Well, at least, um, I got a ton of these, so we're okay. I don't think that was enough to kill him, actually. <laughs> I 
Well, I have enough mail breakers that I could do one of every kind in the world. If I so wished. Just kidding. Hey, I'll take it. Goodbye. Sweet. Some more half moon grass as a recovery. And we're not going to really need anything over here other than the... Uh, one thing that I can get to without any danger, and that's some arch stones. That way, if we ever find ourselves in a pickle and need to be able to travel back until we get a little bit further in, we can. You can flame broil that all you want. I don't care. I really don't care. Whoa. Alright, let's bait a few of these guys. I'm boiling, buddy. Ow. Thank you. Goodbye. And now the cheap way to get him to calm back down is to come back over here. Sure, I'll take a free item. Thanks. It's going to take you to decide to come back. There we go. Alright. Now we should be able to sprint the bridge with these. <laughs> I know this is the same engine, so I know it suffers from some of the same problems, but uh, it has always bothered me running through archways in the Souls games and having the camera do a freaking 90 degree turn, typically to the right. Like it just got through doing. Hey, I think we are going to get the boss in time. Okay, this is it. I want to pull a lever. And skip. Skip. Get a little more pine tar. Never know when you want to burn something. Oh, hi. I didn't know you made it down there. Oh no, whatever will I do? One for one trade. And I also got like three souls or something. <laughs> I really hate these, uh, these guys. Can y'all, like, come out here? Thanks. I got an idea. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah. I definitely don't want that. In my inventory. There we go. Oh well. It's alright. If we get rid of all the fire bombs, we will find more. And we really don't need more very often, so um, not a huge deal. Alright, buddy, I need you to do a running and jumping attack as well. Why not? 
you know, whatever. There we go. Got me something. These things have been really stingy, like way stingier than they were in the original game. And um, I think I did hear that drop rates were changed on some stuff, so I have a sincere feeling that the shield guys um, were some of the people that were changed. And I use the term people quite loosely there. Ah, oh, you still got me. Yeah, so he still didn't get anything. Oh well, boss time it is. Alright, hey, dang sure we got that. Okay, that's the providential ring. We're in good shape. Let's put this little pine resin on. We'll go ahead and drink up. And the first little section of this gets a little hairy. But then once you get past that, it's pretty smooth sailing. Like I said, you kind of get hit quite a bit. But then once you clear yourself a little past, you can just kind of mow them down. Another one, thank you. Yes. Who are you shooting at? Ow. Hopefully, we get some. I don't see a single drop. Go figure. the little dudes because there is a chance that they'll drop some stones. And I think he is now out of assistance. And I did not see a single drop. That's incredible. Yep, not a one. Wow, that's lovely. Okay, well, um, not too shabby. We uh, made it through the tutorial boss without issue. Beat the first boss and got ourselves some freedom. All under 30 minutes. I'm going to uh, run up here real quick. I'm going to skip that cutscene. We're going to go talk to the... Uh, Monumental, come back down, level up a little bit, upgrade our mail breaker a little bit, and um, then we're going to call it a night. And when we return, we're going to be going to one three, no, five one, to um, get the crescent falchion, and see if we have a little better luck there. I'm going to go ahead and go to the top while we're already this stinking close and get my free become human. Not that I'll ever need it, but just in case. You never know. There we go. Open the door to the Pantheon. Let's sprint back here into the corner. Get our item. Hey, I went the right way. Go figure. No. Oh. Thank you. Strongest first completion. Couldn't you kind of cheese that? Oh, I, my first completion is not done yet. So yes, you could. By um, farming the crap. And capping some skills. With a really powerful weapon. 
I guess, I don't know if that's an AR based or what that is. We'll skip talking to you. Let's we'll skip this cutscene. Thank you very much. Can't fall there. And we go, nope, not up, down. Alright, I got 6,000 souls almost and several. We're going to burn all of our souls for right now. But, okay. I think we walk off this one real nice and neat. There we go. That was closer than I wanted it to be. Another soul to use. I need to die here in a moment, anyways, but. Thank you. Maiden in Black is ready to level me up. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. Shut up. Yes, seek us. Oh, I keep hitting no. That would explain why. <laughs> Let's do yes this time. There we go. Holy cow. Alright, I'm going to get two into there, and then we're going to pour everything we can into magic. Oh my god, hit the circle button. Thank you. Okay, let's <coughs> clear some inventory room by using every single one of these. All right, 23,000, heck yeah. Good, let's repair. And then we're gonna upgrade our mail breaker. Nope, the one we have equipped, please. Oh, I'm one shy, we can get that pretty easy. All right. Do come back alive. I will, don't worry. Is there anything we need to send off? Yeah, we're gonna send that storage, and that storage, and that, and that, and that. And that. Not that. Okay. Time to level up some more. We got one more, and I will go ahead and put it in vitality. Wow. Level 23. <laughs> Alright, well, um, that is a good good place to stop when we return we will be in the uh, shrine of storms there with the arstone of the shadowman uh doing that first little route to get the crescent falchion and once we do we'll do the skip and go over and fight the boss and um then that will allow us to at least upgrade the crescent falchion once might get enough stones and stuff to upgrade it twice and make it plus three and then we'll go back to uh, the digger archstone and uh, begin to work through the game uh, some white traditional progression we won't do tower knight right now there's really no need for him we'll save him for essentially after we've beaten the dragon king but um hope everybody's enjoying it so far uh just a quick little thing like i said i've been loving demon souls the remake uh it's graphic fidelity is amazing the gameplay is wonderful uh, it feels really solid. Um, this is one of the ones that really makes you feel powerful. If you put it, it doesn't take long for you to feel powerful throughout the entire game because most things are either weak to fire, weak to piercing, or weak to magic. And so um, you can build a very specific build and, and get strong really fast. Um, and I think you can really break this one more than any of them because obviously this was their least refined. But uh, I think Blue Point did a wonderful job bringing the essence of Dark Souls into the uh, the newest generation of, of gaming, and um, I look forward to not only playing this but uh, some other PS5 games that are out. I uh, have already thoroughly enjoyed using the PS5 for insanely short load times on my backlog of games. So you'll see me actually play some older gen games. I'll uh, I'll be hitting up uh, Ghost of Tsushima. I still have yet to beat Sekiro, and like I said, it's really close. And then I've got uh, Red Dead 2 to beat, 
and just several. I've got like the last three or four missions on GTA 5, and um, having that super fast load time is, is really impressive. And I know Xbox is, uh, is doing some of the same thing for the, the, the past gen. Um, I know those consoles are, you know, thanks to SSD technology. I've got a PC with a PCIe a PCI M.2, and um, it's it's wonderful. It's not PCI; it's NAND, isn't it? Whatever, whatever it is, the load times are wonderful, and so um, it's it's really awesome to be a gamer right now because things are wonderful. So, thank you all for uh, sticking around. I hope I entertained you a little bit. I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. I uh, didn't want to make any qualms or uh, you know oversell. This is not my first time through the game. I understand a lot of the game. I'm, I'm still not as familiar with it as many people, but uh, I understand how to make a decent character and, and where to go. And so I didn't want to pretend that this was a blind or anything like that to try to get views. I'm just going to try to make a decently low, over level, not over level, but decently powerful character, burn through the game pretty simply. And then. Um, Whenever it's all said and done, we'll, we'll move on to another game, or we might uh, might make a PvP or P, uh, a helpful character and do a little bit of that. Uh, like I said, I've got a friend that I'm helping through the game, and so uh, I'm just I'm excited to uh, to go to make videos again. So sorry that I talked so much uh, this time around. This is my effectively first real video in in almost half of a decade, and so. Uh, I'm super excited to, I'm just going to do this as a, as a hobby, it's a fun thing for me, I have a wonderful career, but uh, I'd like to share some of my gameplay experiences with you guys, and hopefully it entertains you for a little while, I won't be uh, ever locking them into, um, I can't think of the word now, but um, I won't be making it to where they will get um, ads and stuff like that, because I'm not going to monetize them, uh, this is just for fun. If, uh, if I ever get a big enough fan base, then we might look at doing something different down the road with Patreon or something like that. But for right now, it's just me sharing it's just this dude having some fun playing a video game and recording it while doing so. So thank you all. See you guys the next time around.